Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. I'm so very glad that you're here. My name is Mrs. Lawson and today our learning goal is to identify numbers from one to a hundred. I bet that you already know a lot of the numbers. In just a minute, we're going to go into my classroom and look at my 100s chart. But before we do, I want you to look at this number. <gasps> do you know what this number is? It is the number 84. When we're reading numbers, we start on the left and we work our way across to the right. We're going to start in the tens place, 84. Hmm. The number 84 means that we have eight groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and four more. 84. Hmm. Well, what about this number? Are you able to read this number? Hmm. We're going to start on the left and start with our tens place. 68. 68. The number 68 shows that there are six groups of 10 and eight more. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. When we are reading numbers, we start on the left and we work our way to the right. 68. What about this number? Are you able to read this number? We're going to start on the left and work our way to the right. 23. The number 23 shows us that there are two groups of 10, 10, 20, and three little ones. 21, 22, and 23. Most of the numbers from 1 to 100. When we're reading them, we read the first number that we see first. Let's try one more number. Can you read this number? We're going to start here on the left, 75. Hmm. There's our answer, 75. Most of the numbers from 1 to 100, when you're reading them, you read the first number first. Hmm. Most of them, but not all of them. There are seven tricky numbers, and I'm going to tell you what those tricky numbers are. Are you ready? You're going to recognize them. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. These numbers are tricky because, hmm, the nine doesn't come first. And we kind of hear it first, 19, just like 17. But when you hear the word teen in the word, I want you to remember that the one comes first. 19. The one comes first and then the nine. And that's true with 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, and 13. In all of our teen numbers, the one comes first. So I want you to remember that. Let's go into my classroom and take a look at our 100s chart. Do you know what this chart is called? This is called a 100s chart. Our 100s chart starts at the number one and goes all the way down to 100. Let's count a little bit together. We'll start at one. I want you to say them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-se
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Did you see that when we were counting on the 100s chart, that we started on the left side and we went over to the right? And when we got to the end of our line, we came right back and started on the left again. Did you also notice that one of the numbers that we counted, the card is flipped over. It's this one, right between 16 and 18. Can you tell me what number is between 16 and 18? Yell it out. <gasps> yes, it is 17. Now I have some more numbers that are turned over and I want to see if you can tell me what number they are. Hmm. What about this one right here? It is between 33 and 35. What number? I knew you would know it. It's 34. And what about this number? It's right between 56 and 58. Do you know what the number is? It's 57. Well done. I have one more number turned over. It's this one right here. Do you know what it is? It is one more than 71 and one less than 73. You're right. It's 72. Good remembering. When we are counting on our 100s chart, we are going to find some patterns and some easy ways to find some numbers. All right, we already counted 220 on our 100s chart, but I want us to start at 21 and count to 40. Count with me. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Did you notice that when we were counting from 21 to 30, did you hear that all of the numbers started with 20? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And when we were counting from 31 to 40, that most of the numbers started with 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Hmm. So if you hear a number like 37, you could find it on the chart by looking at the row with the 30s. You don't have to look over the whole chart. You know that 37 is not going to be down in the 80s, or it's not going to be up with the teens. We can just go down and realize, oh, this is our 30s row. And look there. So if we were looking for the number 89 on our chart, where would we look? Remember that the number 89 has eight groups of 10 and nine ones. So we're going to look in the row with all of our 80s. Hmm. I look down the left side until I find 81. And now I'm going to look across that row. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. We found it. Hmm. Let's see if we can find a, another number. What about the number 36? Remember, when we're reading our numbers, we say the number in the tens place first. 36. Hmm. We're going to look at the row that has all of the 30s. We'll look down on the left-hand side and we'll find 31. And now we'll go across until we find 36. Count them with me. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Good finding. What about the number 49? 
where would we look? Would we look up here? Or would we look down here? No. We're going to start off by looking at the left side. And we're going to come down until we find our 40s. Hmm, 49. We have 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. Remember, when we are reading the number word, we start at our first place. And on this one, it is the tens place. 40. Nine, I know that as you review your hundreds chart and practice, that you are going to be able to find the numbers super duper fast. Class, thank you so much for coming into my classroom and learning with me today. Our learning goal was to be able to identify numbers from one to 100. Were you able to do it? I know that you can use your 100 chart for practice and that you can remember that all of our teen numbers, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, hmm, the one comes first. Those are our tricky ones. Well, class, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.